If I could go back and talk to my 18 year old self, I would say go back to class. I was born with PKU, I was on diet and went to clinic until I was about 10 years old. When I was 10, the clinic advised that I would no longer need to be on diet. We now know that that was very bad advice. PKU must be managed for life with diet and with clinic visits. I was diagnosed with PKU whenever I was two weeks old um, and my mom didn't really know anything about it. I was diagnosed with PKU in 1983 a week after I was born. I have PKU and living with PKU is restrictive because you have to be careful of what you eat, things that you have to intake. The symptom of having high fee level and for a lot of people, is just a, it's almost like people describe being a fog. The PKU fog is like where you're tired all the time and nothing's clear and you just don't really care about anything. I don't always know when my fee levels are high, but the people around me are always able to tell me. When I was around 14, I just started not caring as much. And, you know, the peer pressures of other people just because I wanted to actually just be normal. Some of the reasons I stopped managing my diet because it's just really hard to be different from everyone else at school. I used to go to a clinic like every three months. And as I got older, I started not going as much. In my 20s, when I was completely off diet, I started noticing um, how I would be very forgetful of things, where I, something would be, you know, my keys or whatever. Uh, I just couldn't find it for the life of me, and it'd really stir up frustration. I kind of started having panic attacks. My panic attacks scared me so much that I knew that I needed to make a change and get back on treatment. I think PKU rears its ugly head when I'm in school, when I have a task that I really have to focus immensely on. Um, it's very draining because even if I can accomplish the task, it took a lot more than I think someone else who doesn't have PKU may, may do, um, may not need as much energy. Well, I went back to clinic because I started doing a little more focus on PKU and then that's when I noticed that clinics are encouraging patients who have left treatment to come back. Everybody's PKU, everybody's disease is different. And you don't know what, even a fairly short time of being off diet, you don't know what the adverse effects can be until you try it. So it's, it's just not worth the risk. It's worth it to protect your brain health and to not let your fee levels get too high. You're doing yourself a disservice if you get off diet because of all the effects that'll come with it. You think it's as easy as, you know what, I'll just be off the formula, I ain't gotta worry about it no more, or I'm just eating regular foods, you know, I'll be normal. It's not like that. You're normal more so on diet and following the formula than you are when you're off diet because all that does is just set you up for more failures because of all the effects that come with it. If I could go back and talk to my 18-year-old self, I would say go back to clinic. I would say that because it's just so important to keep on treatment for life if you have PKU. It is a lifelong struggle. You should never go off treatment completely. It's never too late to get back to care.